Hello, so in today's class we will look at what are called orthonormal systems. So we have seen the concept of uh, orthogonality of functions. So uh, if you have two functions f and g, they are said to be orthogonal with respect to a weight function r in the interval a b if when you take the integral uh, a to b f of x g of x r of x dx so that must be equal to zero then uh, we have seen the orthogonality of an infinite set of functions so when you take the integral a to b then uh, integral phi n of x phi m of x r of x dx so this must be equal to zero when uh, m is not equal to n then we have seen uh, the orthogonality of uh, the characteristic functions of this Tumblr problem. So, in today's class, we will define what do we mean by an orthonormal function and then what is an orthonormal system. Okay, and uh, then uh, we will uh, see uh, this Tumblr problem. So, uh, can you get the system of uh, orthonormal functions? Okay, so. Uh, let us see the first definition. So, what is an orthonormal function? So, a function f uh, is called normalized with respect to the weight function r. On the interval a less than or equal to x less than or equal to b if and only if integral a to b f of x whole square r of x dx so this must be equal to 1. So a function f is said to be normalized or orthonormal with respect to weight function r on the interval a less than or equal to x less than or equal to b uh, if and only if so when you take the integral a to b uh, f of x whole square into r of x dx so the integral value must be uh, equal to 1 so this is the uh, condition for a function to be orthonormal with respect to a weight function r so let us uh, look at an example so if you take the function f of x uh, as root of 2 pi by uh, sin x so and take the weight function r of x to be equal to 1 in the interval 0 less than or equal to x less than or equal to pi so when you take the in, uh, integral 0 to pi 2 pi sin square x uh, into 1 dx so this will be integral 0 to pi 2 by pi the sin square x in the 1 minus cos 2x by 2 dx theorem. so that is 1 by pi uh, 2 cancel out 1 by pi so upon integrating you will get x minus sin 2x by 2 from 0 to pi now when you apply the limits on sin 2x uh, and the limit value 0 again so you get 1 by pi remaining with only pi so therefore we will get 1 uh, so therefore uh, f of x equal to root 2 pi sin x uh, is sin 2x is normalized with respect to weight function r of x equal to 1. So, here this function root 2 pi uh, in the sin 2x is orthonormal with respect to the weight function 1 uh, in the interval uh, 0 less than or equal to x less than or equal to pi. Now, uh, let us look at the definition of what is an orthonormal system. So, we have seen what is an orthonormal function. Now let us uh, look at when you have an infinite 
set of functions so when it is called an orthonormal system so let us consider uh, the set phi n where n equal to 1 2 3 etc so let it be an infinite set of functions defined on the interval so the interval is a less than or equal to x less than or equal to b then the set phi n uh, is called an orthonormal system with respect to the weight function r on the interval a less than or equal to x less than or equal to b if so the first condition is it is an orthogonal system with respect to R on A less than or equal to X less than or equal to B. That means when you take the integral uh, phi m phi n R dx that must be equal to 0 when m is not equal to n. That is the orthogonal system condition for orthogonal system and then the second condition is uh, every function of the system is normalized is normalized with respect to r on a less than or equal to x less than or equal to b so that means uh, condition or n when you take integral phi n phi m r of x dx that must be equal to 0 when m is not equal to n. Any, then you take every function. So if you are taking a single uh, phi m at a time then uh, integral phi m square r of x dx that must be equal to 1. Okay. Uh, that is so let us uh, write down uh, as an integral. So that is the set phi n is orthonormal with respect to r on a less than or equal to x less than or equal to b if so when you take the integral a to b phi n of x into phi m of x into r of x dx uh, by the first condition m not equal to n variable on the orthogonal system so that integral must be 0 and ortho uh, normalized on an opener so you will be taking the same function so when m is equal to n the integral must be equal to 1 so if this condition holds uh, we will say that uh, the given uh, set of function is said to be orthogonal so uh, let us uh, look at an example of an orthonormal system. So let us see the example. So consider uh, the infinite set of function phi n where phi n of x is root 2 pi sin nx where n is equal to 1 to 3 etc. In the interval 0 less than or equal to x less than or equal to pi. So first let us check whether it is orthogonal or not. About take uh, root 2 pi sin nx into root 2 pi and here the weight function r of x is equal to 1. So sin mx 1 dx so this will be 2 by pi integral 0 to pi me uh, sin a sin b will be 1 by 2 uh, cos a minus b by n minus m x minus cos uh, n plus m x dx theorem so 
you will get 1 by pi upon integrating you will get sin n minus m x by n minus n minus sin n plus m x by n plus m from 0 to pi so upon applying the limits so at 0 and pi the limit value would be 0 so therefore uh, it is an orthogonal system and now we need to check for the integral 0 to pi root 2 by pi sin nx whole square dx r is 1 again you will get 2 by pi integral 0 to pi uh, sin square nx no rainbow 1 minus uh, cos 2nx by 2 dx theorem so that will be 1 by pi so upon integrating you will get x minus sin 2nx by 2n from 0 to pi so the second function will be 0 at both the limits so you will get pi by pi is equal to 1 so therefore the set phi n or the system of functions so phi n is an orthonormal system so this is how uh, a function becomes or a system of uh, functions or an infinite set of functions forms an orthonormal system so they must be uh, forming an orthogonal system and uh, then each function must be normalized with respect to uh, the weight function r now let us uh, consider the uh, stum lovely problem so you have the differential equation uh, together with your boundary conditions now for the stum lovely problem so let lambda n uh, be the uh, infinite set of characteristic values and correspondingly uh, you will get the set of characteristic functions phi n. In the uh, number for general stumbling problem, uh, we have seen that the infinite set phi n. Uh, so this will be an orthogonal system. So this will be forming an orthogonal system with respect to uh, the weight function r of x. So, where on the interval a less than or equal to x less than or equal to b. So, the function r of x is a function which appears in your uh, stum lovely problem. In the number of characteristic functions, uh, they are orthogonal but they need not be uh, orthonormal necessarily. So, uh, this set phi n of uh, characteristic functions is orthogonal is orthogonal but uh, is not necessarily orthonormal with respect to the wave function r so orthogonal aanu pakshe orthonormal aanu annu nirbandham illa so with respect to R so with respect to R in A less than or equal to X less than or equal to B. And now uh, we will look at when can be made uh, when can be the characteristic functions made orthogonal. So namaka uh, phi n so corresponding to lambda n if you have an orthonormal uh, uh, sorry. 